Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on once again. Hopefully we've got some good action today. The simulator story mode event is open right now and it's a lot of fun uh, depending on if you're uh, looking for a little bit of a of a challenge in that the enemies are mostly tile moving characters instead of uh, minions or goons and so it can be kind of difficult. Man, I haven't started it yet myself, but let me know how it's going for you guys. I should be jumping into that here pretty soon later tonight. That's why I wanted to do the video quick before that gets rolling. I did manage a top 20 barely finish in Hearts of Darkness. I thought I had a shot to finish better than that, but oh, kids in baseball and stuff just, just uh, slows things down, and that's just fine. I'll, uh, I'm happy with that finish for a couple of... Uh, nice rewards with the four star covers and so the the cover rewards from hearts of darkness we will get into because we might be champing a four star character today um let's start off the um uh the video here with the crash of the titans it's uh, the first day in the cycle and i think uh, maybe i'll start doing it a little bit earlier usually i do it toward the last day of the five day term and um, it might be easier if you guys, um, you know, want to see the video sooner on the crash in case I give any bit of insight that helps anybody. Maybe. You know how that goes. Oh, lightning round finished. Good. We got a couple more heroic tokens. So we'll be pulling our tokens here right after the crash. And then we'll get into the uh, versus side of things. And we'll take our first couple of shots in the um, shield simulator in PvP. So I've done every other node so far except for the um, crash against Prowler using 4-star Black Panther. That should be a lot of fun. Now let's take a quick look at his build because I might change his layout. No, I think we'll keep it in this. Yeah, I think we'll keep it at 5-3-5. And um, real quick review here. I really am a big fan of Protector of Wakanda. It's an inexpensive ability at a cost of seven, and it uh, sits out a yellow repeater tile, a two-turn repeater that creates strength 329 um, protect, attack, or strike tiles by random, three of them every two turns. So that can add up pretty quickly. And um, the main thing to consider here, though, if another ally is still in the fight, those tiles will be fortified. In a Crash of the Titans, you don't have any allies, so those tiles should not be fortified, and they won't be Strength 491 instead. Normally, that's a really nice benefit to have of um, your allies being with you. So then, uh, Kinetic Shield is where Panther will place fortified Protectiles on the board. Three Strength 97, so I think that'll help a lot with uh, avoiding some match damage that we're going to take along the way from this um, pretty tough enemy. And if we could go up to cover level 5, well, where he would place four higher strength protectiles, but I think we're going to leave blue at level 3 because with By Tooth and Claw, we can keep this at level 5, and this is the big damage dealer overall, 8,051 damage at this level. Um, but it... Uh, increases the strength of your fortified friendly special tiles uh, by 424 but if you have specials from his yellow that aren't fortified they won't be increased in value when you play by tooth and claw so i think we're going to be just fine with this build let's jump into it and then we'll look at prowler's abilities take these off let's go Okay, so he's got about 14,000 health, so we're at a big advantage at the beginning, but I really think Prowler's pretty fun designed character in that his purple is a uh, super cool challenge where he automatically fortifies enemy special tiles, which means mine. So we're not going to get fortified um, specials from our yellow initially, but every turn, he's going to be fortifying uh, one or two of them. I think in this case, it looks like it's going to be um, two. So he's probably set at a high cover level for his purple. Um, we don't really get to see if he's a 5-3-5 you know, five, five layout or 5-5-3 five, five, or whatever. And um, But if he matches a fortified special tile, which if, if we're lucky, they're going to be all over the place, and he might steal a couple of them 
if he matches a fortified enemy special. So, let's look at Tinkerer's Toys. This is a really good ability. We have to be careful with blue. And we'll be, we'll be fighting over blue. Um, if he gets 10, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a damage ability already, but if he has more special tiles on the board than we do, it would do team damage. That won't apply here, but uh, the, the direct damage plus three turn stun can be very dangerous, especially if he's got the opportunity during those three turns to steal more of our special tiles. And a black is going to be also pretty tough. It's a cost of 11, so I think he's going to have a hard time getting that done, but um, it creates strike tiles for him and me. Uh, stronger for him, of course, and though the, the, the main deal is he goes invisible for two turns when he plays, uh, is it two, tu yeah, two turns when he plays this ability, so of course we wouldn't be able to damage him at all. Let's make a big focus on probably blue, and uh, he shouldn't match red, that's not one of his colors, and there's red matches to be made, um, for our second turn. So let's start with yellow. Let's try to get our repeater out as soon as possible. And there we gave him a blue, so watch out for that. Um, red, maybe we'll drop a yellow close. We better get the blue first before the other yellow. He's going to go for purple matches, but it won't build up an ability since it's a passive ability already. We better take this match for in red so that he doesn't take it. So where are we at here? He's already just, let's see, seven purple, yellow, and black. Black is an issue already. Um, match four in purple would get us the two yellow at the bottom. But I think we're better off getting three yellow here and just dealing with what drops. And man, that worked out so well. Crazy lucky on that cascade. I'm glad we chose to do it that way. Um, we got tons of AP on the drop where it could have been just a single four, um, match four in a color that didn't matter. Now, extra move in yellow. Yeah, this is starting to go pretty well in our favor let's play i think it's safe to play yellow for our repeater tile for protector of wakanda cool so two turns we're going to get a couple of uh, special tiles presented. Let's not play our other powers yet until we get those out. Just for fun. I think we have this match well in hand. Oh, well, I thought so. Now he got really lucky with that black. So he's going to place strike tiles and go invisible on the very next turn. Let's let that happen. We'll let it take place. We'll play kinetic shield for our own protect tile. I'm glad those are fortified because I'm going to match that yellow up on top here. We're going to wait on red. Oh, that was so cool. So the passive side of Panther's ability on the kinetic shield is whenever you match a friendly protectile, you deal 169 damage for each friendly protectile on the board. So that can add up quite a bit as you get a lot more protects, uh, of course. Um, we could match this protect tile here for that match four in black, but let's just take out a strike tile that will play another protector of Wakanda. First, okay, let's take out that protect uh, strike tile. Now our repeaters are going to create a lot of special tiles here in a second. I can't believe we have another extra move after that. Rolling good. Don't want to let him get his blue any way possible. Doesn't look like he will. And uh, don't forget we have our red ability to play next. I want to let our yellows go uh, one more time here. Let's just take out this black. See how he's fortifying 
our special tiles that aren't fortified yet. So we lost one of our repeaters, but we have another one down below. We have 1,300 in attack tiles, 455 strike, 523 protect tiles. Let's go two more turns just for fun. He's going to fortify more of our specials. Another extra move, are you serious? Well, before we take it, let's just go ahead and finish this off. We have so much red, it's crazy. 8,051 damage, and it would increase our fortified special tiles. No matter how many you have, it increases each one of them by 424. So if we um, could continue in, in this match, it would be over within a couple turns anyway. Very nice. Well, we had a crazy good board there. Thanks to the viewer luck, of course. Get the legendary token. And there we go. A lot of people beat the crash already today. Show you a few of the people ahead of me. Great. Let's move on to... We're going to do some PvP here. Let's take a quick look. I'm still rolling in Cold War. I haven't shielded yet. Look, shielded yet. Looks like I'm going to be fine for a top 10 in clearance level 9. Hopefully top 5 if things go well um, at the end of the night when I go for my shield. And Wakanda Forever is opening soon. Looking forward to playing a very boosted Panther in that one. Alright, well we'll get into the shield simulator PvP. Let's do our tokens here first. Simulator, the event that's currently running, we have uh, discount draw. I haven't started the event yet, so I haven't earned any tokens otherwise, but there is a Talos and Yondu still available in here, among uh, some other great rewards. So I'll pull more of those later. Hearts of Darkness ends tonight, so this will be the last couple of draws we get to make. We've done really good in this vault so far. Alright, just a couple of two stars. So that's the end. If I'm up till midnight, I might get one more shot in that vault when it creates the discount for me once again. Cold War, three tokens there. Um, Yeah, let's do them. Sometimes I wait until the event is over. That's a good idea to play along with you guys on these tokens. We got gold, and it's a four star. Three, two, one. Four star, Star Lord. Nice hit. Okay, glad we did those. We are up to 23 latest legends, continuing to save those. It's a less than three weeks now until uh, God Emperor Doom rotates out. And the new five-star character that was announced um, previously, pretty much yesterday, is Rescue, which is Pepper Potts. And uh, she'll be moving into Latest Legends. She has her own special store starting Thursday through Sunday of this week. And uh, we'll move into Latest Legends two weeks after that store closes on Sunday night for me, which is basically this coming Monday morning, two weeks from then. Right? Okay. Elite tokens, gold. Nice hit on blade there. No other gold, so maybe we'll run pretty good in heroics again. Let's have a look. I think we've been running a little too hot in heroics, so maybe we'll get a couple three stars along this run. Oh, and we'll champ a four star, guaranteed now, before we get into the simulator. Maybe you can guess who it's going to be. Wow, look at that. Last one is gold, Electra. No four stars today from 10 tokens. That's probably pretty fair. We've been running a little too hot in the heroics. 
Sounds fine. Let's go in and add up those. Looks like I'm running pretty good on defense in Cold War. I have a pretty strong... Some of those were, were um, purposeful retreats from a friend. Um, but for the most part, uh, I have a pretty strong rogue out. If you, haven't, if you didn't see the last video, I'll just show you a quick look here. And... Uh, also, main event Hulk. He's got 66,000 plus in health. Winter Soldier's up to 52,000. And Rogue is at 71,200. So for four stars, that's who I'm playing for fun. And I haven't used a five star in the last two events because of those two running uh, pretty well together. Okay. Let's hit the rewards here. Two stars. I wasn't going to do much here, was I? I always say that. We might champ a two star, too. I got to think who's coming up next. And we have a alliance event coming up this Thursday as well. So make sure you get your people to uh, let you know if they can be active against the Civil War bosses. And if you choose one side or the other, let me know who you're going to be. Team Iron Man or Team Cap? My alliance pretty much focuses on one side and also tries to get far on the other side of things so I don't know if we'll um, decide to start on Team Iron Man maybe this time not sure a couple levels in Colossus here and Scarlet Witch before that save a cover for Falcon, we keep getting more blue. We just need yellow or purple. We could do a cover swap, but I never want to do that on three stars or four star characters and very, very rarely on five stars. All right, we've got to worry about Blade and Star Lord soon. Let's go to the fours. Four star Star Lord that we just hit. Nice level up there. Winter Soldier from the 900 point level in the current event. Takes him up another notch to 306. And we got the two Talos covers from the last story rewards. Let's build up his purple to four. And he's at 454 now, now, so that's 13. And that means we can save that extra cover. He is at 13. And if you can guess what that means, you got it right that is going to be our new champion four star talos is ready to go and uh, we'll talk about his builds here let me make a quick note of his iso requirement i like to keep some stats here how much iso i earn per day and stuff like that for planning on current goals Okay, so from 229 up to level 270, it costs 153 to do it. Plus 12,500 for the uh, promotion to a champion, and there we go. The extra cover automatically goes to a, a further level for 271, and it get the legendary token for that. So he's got pretty good health at 15,702 at this level, and I am going to change him around a bit, and we'll we'll talk about his. Um, abilities here. Uh, I think we'll do it now and then we'll get into uh, more in how to how I think we'll use him um, and let me know if you um, have other ideas or what you want to do. I'm going to take access granted up to level five. Now I don't think everybody should do this if for example your primary roster is four star characters you might want to build up his black instead of purple but we'll get to that. For me, since I have to play him along with other 5-star characters, I'm not going to get as much out of his black because he won't be tanking much. All right, so uh, touching on that, uh, Axis Granted costs 7 purple AP. Uh, he creates 4 trap tiles that, the shape, uh, that shape shifts him into the target enemy. So uh, while any of these traps are on the board, Talos, Talos steals 2 AP in the shape shifted target's strongest color anytime you make a match of that color. So you really need to think about who you are going to shapeshift into. And it depends on, you know, the three characters on the enemy team, what color you want to um, be going for. 
So if you're up against somebody like Jessica Jones, her strongest color is red. That's probably a good idea to um, play Axis Granted on her. Talos will shapeshift into Jessica. But then any match you make of red, doesn't matter what color these traps are on, they're just trap tiles to make this power happen. Um, and so anytime I match red, we're going to steal 2 AP from the enemy team. That's, that's pretty cool. Now, if, once you down that enemy, I don't know um, what happens. Because if you stay shapeshifted as them, maybe it continues throughout the entire match. That'll be fun to see. I would be surprised if it just cancels just because you downed that enemy. So, let's go on to Stunning Blow. I think you probably want this at level 5 for everybody who plays him. Um, he stuns the enemy for four turns and creates a, a one turn countdown tile that destroys five AP in the enemy team's strongest color when it ticks off the board. Um, that's cool. This is designed to remove enemy AP such that it will make his black ability stronger, I believe is the primary um, design here. But it's gonna work for, for anybody, if you think about um, who, it doesn't matter who you stun, it's going to destroy 5 AP, AP in the enemy team's strongest color. So just watch out that you probably don't necessarily want to play Axis Granted on the character that has the strongest color and then use the same um, person for blue because you'll be defeating your purpose a little bit. You won't be able to steal it. All right, skill unmatched. This is his passive ability. The uh, design element here is for every AP... Talos, Talos has in the enemy team's strongest color more than they do. His match damage increases by 13%. Um, at cover level 5, it's 28%. And if he's shapeshifted, it's 39%. That can get very big. In fact, it can get up to 585% match damage. That's the only damage this guy can do. His none of his his other his other two abilities neither do any damage. So among four-star teams, I think you'll want to set his, blue, his black here up higher and his purple down at level three. Um, in my case, like I said, I'm not going to get him in front to make many matches anyway. Uh, I kind of wish I could test it out that way, and we will in different setups. But in the simulator, I'm always matched against five-star teams because of my roster, so I have to use five-stars on my team to play competitively. So we're going to leave that at level 3. I hope I explained it well. We'll cover that more in the match. So another defensive win. Interesting. Let's go into the simulator. And we'll play. We'll get a couple matches in here. See who... Uh, we haven't touched this yet, so I don't know what teams we're up against. That could be a fun team. That could be a not fun team. <laughs> Let's see. So this team has Kitty, which is typically dangerous, but they only have a couple ways to make the special tiles that she would be buffing. So maybe we'll take a quick shot at this team. They have three different strongest colors that we could make use of. So let's go down here to our brand newest four-star champion and get Talos in the fight right there. So we're going to make use of his purple and black, of course. So let's plan a team around him that uh, won't use purple or black. Um, I want to use Daredevil because I think he's going to have a really good interaction if we get to play Talos' stun. But maybe not against a kitty team because if we create strike tiles from Daredevil, she's going to hit us back really badly um let's start out with i'm trying to think of who we can pick that would be a cool combo yeah we're going to use his blue and blue and purple so so red yellow black and green is who we're who is the are the color combos we're trying to fill Red and yellow should be easy, or red, black, yellow, green, whatever we want to do. Let's try Captain Marvel in one. I know she creates uh, special tiles that Kitty's going to get us back for, but I think this might work out pretty well if we can steal AP from 
yellow for kitty for example or we'll see okay so that's going to be our red green we need red green yellow all we need is a active black ability to round this out Let's give this a shot. This might not be the, the ideal setup. And then we'll use uh, Daredevil in the next battle. Let's boost our blue to make sure it's uh, able to play easily. And our purple sounds fine. I don't think we're going to need a lot of help on the other two. Okay. So I still think Kitty is probably the most immediately dangerous out of the few we have here. And match four in red sounds good so have you noticed what I said about tanking um, Talos doesn't make the matches for any of his colors because my five star characters are um, a little too powerful I can't help that um, that's just the way the matchmaking works for my roster and uh, sometimes you can get a four star that you bring along with two five stars to match uh, one of their colors for tanking but not in this case. It's kind of nice though with uh, Captain Marvel's big health pool and big max damage. She can absorb the hits easier than Talos would anyway. Here's a great spot where purple drops green. Alright, so we have some abilities ready to play. Um, Kalos could play Axis Granny right now with the Trap Tiles, and uh, Kitty won't affect Trap Tiles, thankfully enough. Anytime we match a color, well, let's just look at the strongest colors. Kitty's is, pur is, Kitty's is yellow, Loki's is purple, and Cable's is blue. So I think we'd be really well to, to um, play our shapeshift ability on cable so we can get a uh, blue stolen from them every time we match it. So let's play access granted. Let's see, I have my effects on here. Here we go. So there's our trap tiles. Anytime those are on the board, if we match blue, we're going to steal two AP of that color from the enemy, whether or not cable's the target now or not. Awesome. I think that's going to be a really, really pretty fun ability. We're going to match blue right now, so we'll get three for the match plus two on the steel. We'll go from six up to 11. That's awesome. Cable's blue can be pretty, um, pretty tough because uh, if he, if they happen to match green while his countdown is out, he will um, stun one of my characters. Let's play... Mean Red Hook, it's a repeater tile. That's a sweet spot for a repeater. Ooh, things are looking all right. Let's go for... I wonder what happens if we can... Sh can we shape shift again to another character? That would be interesting how that works. Would it take over from the other one? You don't get both, I'm sure. Be kind of cool if you could do either or. All right, so we have uh, strike tiles coming out on the next turn from Carol's mean right hook, and I forgot to look what she specked out at, but it's probably five three five. So um, let's let her let's let Kitty get her repeater started. Stole blue. Okay, damage. Strike tiles. We will place her circuit breaker on the board. And now I'm going to play stunning blow on her. And uh, the team's strongest color happens to be blue. So I didn't really think of that at the beginning of the match. Um, I don't want to, I'd rather uh, steal their blue than just remove it with stunning blow. But that's okay. Done for four turns is pretty awesome. 
and uh, let's send Panther Airborne for fun with Got Your Six. He'll be airborne for two turns. When he lands, he'll do damage and take a little burst of health. Again, cool. This is working pretty well. Let's go with another repeater. Hopefully, we get a decent placement. Not bad. And let's see. If they take that blue match down there, I'm fine with it because. We can hopefully steal it back in a little bit. Let's play yellow. comes out uh, overkill on kitty but it's super nice to have her out of the match by the way <laughs> so let's do this let's play access granted now on loki and see if it takes over shape shift into him and now the other ones yeah it's it's taken over on all of our trap tiles that's pretty interesting i didn't know what it would do uh, and so that's good to know it doesn't really help to play it a second time unless you've uh, eliminated an enemy and need to change the color that it works for you on, I guess. So, let's hit Cable and... We do want to keep Purple out of Loki's hands, that's for sure. This is getting pretty crazy. Neither of those two have a red ability so they don't have a lot of incentive to match red. Let's go ahead and play Photonic Rush. In two turns that will destroy the row that it's on and uh, we'll get a yellow from breaking the strike tile on that row, by the way. And let's play... Mm, man, we have a lot of Panthers play. Panthers Prey. Let's play that on Cable. Very good. So extra hits. We're going to do 5260 extra damage on every blow that hits the, the character that, wow, that uh, Panther's Prey is assigned to. That worked out way too well, actually. Here we go with our, um, nope, all right. Let's play Stunning Blow on Loki. That'll remove his purple in one turn. It's awesome when there's one enemy remaining because uh, the, the countdown will almost always work for you. Tonic Rush. Wow, this team is just really obliterating. Let's send Talos Airborne for two turns. I don't think this match is gonna last two more turns. Hmm. Not that our team we were uh, posed against was that big of a threat, but we really won that match quite easily. So let's get Talos into another fight here and see if... All right, we finally took a real hit in Cold War. Didn't mean to open that one. I was, we slid over one since the lightning round opened for the... For the moment okay this will be our last match hopefully we get a good run on talos you know it, he, he's rated pretty low and I, I understand that mostly because he doesn't do his own damage but um oh this will be a good a pretty cool fight let's give it a try with um well daredevil does purple and we want to probably use talos's purple yep that's true That's okay. Let's get Doom in here for uh, yellow and black, blue, purple, so red and green makes more sense for the other two characters. And um, what are the strongest colors on the other team? Doom is going to be yellow, and Daredevil is yellow, and Panther is black. 
that might be kind of cool to keep black away from panther or yellow away from the other guys. Let's do it. So I understand what the hard part in this team is. Who do you target first? Uh, let's choose Panther, I think. Maybe. I'm pretty sure you want to use Doom last because he heals during the match and it would take a long time to try to take Doom out first unless you built up to a ton of knockout potential from your uh, abilities. So where to start? Every time we match black, they're going to steal one because of Doom. Same thing with yellow. So we really want to get ahead on purple so we can be stealing it back, right? They have blue, purple, black, yellow. No real red except for Panther's passive red. Okay, and Daredevil's green. Where do we start? Blue is not an active power, abil or active ability color for them. Black and yellow. Extra move. Wow. Okay. Is that enough damage to make Panther stun himself? I hope not. We're rolling good again so far, guys. Our Doom steals back when they match the other colors. Okay, so here's an extra move again already. We better hit Daredevil with it. If it's too much damage, I don't want to cause Panther to deflect the damage and stun himself and hit us back. So let's hit Daredevil. Unbelievable. Another extra move, and it's going to land a critical tile right on top of those two blacks. It's going to hit really strong damage again. Look at that. Amazing. We have our purple ready to play, yellow and green. I like to play Hella's green once I have my red played because it's a, um, individual strikes of 67.99 plus two other hits of 44.35. That's a pretty big deal. What I um, want to point out is though, Knives Out will overwrite enemy specials, um, but separately she just places four strike tiles worth 524 so if you can get those strikes out before the green that's all the more damage you're going to be able to do so who do we want to stun with axis granted um not stun but shape shift into i think it'll be good to be stealing black they're ahead on black yellow's going to be another story but let's do this um while we have panther here let's access granted into shape shift into panther cool so when we match black we're going to steal it back from them this is going to be a kind of a cool back and forth combo um, we're going to match black they'll steal it and uh, we'll steal it back we're at six we'll go to nine <laughs> eleven and then ten very interesting ten's great we can use doom's black ability for a huge knockout blow Try to get red first. It's good that um, Talos places more than just a couple of trap tiles since they're easily matched away or removed. Uh, let's see. Don't really see a way to line up a red match. Am I missing anything? We'll work Panther down here quite a ways. And then maybe we'll take him out. There's our red. We'll take him out with our initial shot. <laughs> First hit from Hella. Now, by the way, Panther's move or be moved, if he would take 77, 37 or more damage, he actually negates 50% of that and stuns himself for two turns. And when he comes back from his own stun, he does... 7,000 damage. That's more on a higher level Panther. That's a pretty big deal. So let's do this. Um, let's play our... Hmm. Let's play our strike time. All right. 
Let's hit him with our first shot. I think this is enough to take him out, and then the other two hits will hit the other two characters. Yep, he, it was enough for him to deflect it. That's too bad. Um, oh well, I have an idea. Let's play Doom's Yellow. It'll heal our allies and mix around the board so much that I think we might get enough uh, match damage to take Panther out while he's stunned. Yep. When we eliminate an opponent, Hella will increase your special tiles. Cool. Daredevil has about 22, 8 in health. Look at that. Fallen Favor does 23,245. Wait a second. 15 black. Nope, let's do it. Daredevil's down. Now all we have to worry about is Doom. I think we're going to be in good shape. Even with his healing, he's just not going to be able to keep up fast enough. And he happens to have more than... I'll show you here. In Death, Death Best Friend, it's also uh, it's easy to forget about the passive side of this. If the enemy team has 10 or more green, uh, she will do damage for free of 4,000 some and, uh, and uh, remove two of their green. So that's going to happen a couple hits here in a row. Um... Check this out. There's a match four in red, but uh, I always try to point this out when I can. You want to do the black match down first to lift that red up, and then you'll still get the match four in red, but you get the black first. It's easy to get excited when you see a match four and you want to run and do it. All right, looks like we've got the win here. Instead of taking him out with Doom, let's might as well play Death Becomes Her. Which means Death suits Hella quite well. And I think we're going to win this right about now. Cool. All right, so that was a little bit of fun with the brand new four-star champion, Talos, on our team. We'll take him into a couple more matches where we can feature his uh, uh, big percentage increase on match damage with his black ability. And maybe we'll do that in the uh, DDQ areas or, or uh, other areas of the game to show what he is like on the four star level. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to end it here today. If you need more MPQ on YouTube, make sure and hit up MPQ Mastery and the other guys in the links in my main area of the uh, home screen. And if you're watching on on uh, Twitch, hit up Enios04 and the other friends that stream MPQ regularly on Twitch in my links below the main video. Thanks again. Have a great night. See you next time.